Guys, I wanted to make a, a, a little uh, after video to my uh, little little rant earlier today because uh, I wanted to know, number one, why I was so upset. I have been here for, for, for a month. Um, uh, I have done everything that, that, that I've been asked with the automated system as well. And again, remember, um, when I said that was an 800 number, that wasn't. I was so upset at the time that... Uh, I said 1-800. It's actually 1-809-221-2171, extension 6608. And it'll say the emergency uh, uh, line uh, 24 hours a day, uh, 365 days a year, I believe is the exact words it says. But then it puts you through to the extension, um, doesn't go through to that one, tries to send you off to another one, and then it cuts you off. And it's done that, like I said, for 30 days. Actually, I've had some people hit the the video already that are telling me um, that they've dialed it as well and they're getting um, number one that it's closed and, and I don't see how an embassy can help and, and, and you know I spent you know nigh on 15 20 years um, um, going all over the world um, helping the government and, and, and other folks as well um, and never asked for, for, for anything to, to you know like this um, number one this little girl right here is uh, the reason why I'm, I'm as stressed as I am. Um, and again, I want to show you. Um, I uh, this here is my application for for my daughter, which is completely filled out and uh, all done. And when I go into the embassy again today, the guy tells me that it doesn't it doesn't exist. That it's not even there. Well, you can plainly see that I have it here. Angelina Janet Murphy, you know, she was born in Santo Domingo. Now all of a sudden, you know, I got to get some other thing that attaches with, with the uh, fact that she's American. Anyway, long story short, yeah, I've done that. As well as, I'm going to go ahead and bring this one down. Um, my woman, who, who I, I, I am trying to, you know, I want to bring her back to Utah. We want to get married. We want to um, spend our lives together. You know, it's taken me days and days and days going through this system. And it says at the end of it, once you get this stuff filed, that um, you can uh, 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 get an appointment and that you should have a, a, a message sent to your inbox within uh, uh, two weeks. Um, and I, 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 know I, I wanted to do this video because I, I, I was very, very hot under the collar. It almost felt like I had 100, 200 guys that, that, that I was running on, on some project that I've done in the past. And I've done plenty of those as well. You know, five years in Iraq from 2004 to uh, May 2009, uh, you know, I did a year plus in Africa. Um, I, I worked for a company called Action Target. Uh, actually, the mayor, John Curtis of Provo, was one of the owners at the time. I don't know what the whole story is there. Long story short, I got to go all over and do this this work. And uh, uh, I've never, never had... Anyways, I need to get her birth certificate and a simple visa for, for my woman. Okay? I... I uh, I really don't know if there's much more that I can do on that. I'm so tired and so stressed out from, from dealing with this. And again, you know, not being able to... If, if, if I want to talk to somebody going up there, I have to um, go through all the rigmaroles. And, and it almost seems, because I'm not Dominican, I don't, I don't get treated well. And, and what I believe is going on there, and, and I've been told this more than once, that, uh, you know, if you got the money and, and you want to pay that under the table stuff, they'll, they'll blow you and your family through so that you can. And, 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 and you know what? Here I am sitting here as an American, you know, 47-year-old man, uh, done my part for my country. And, yeah, you know what? I'm an asshole, and I admit it, but at the end of the day, I've done my part. You know, I, 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 want, I want, you know, my country to stand for me. I'm proud of fucking America. I'm proud to be a goddamn American. I actually think that on these levels here, if we can show our government that, that, that we can operate at these levels and have accountability, well then maybe we can work this shit, instead of trickle down theory like like uh, good old uh, Reagan and all that crap was, why not trickle this shit back up to the top, because we all know our government is for shit, you know, a bunch of liars, a bunch of old dudes killing, killing off the youth and stealing the resources of, of so many other people, I'm, I'm very, very confused at why folks can't get in line with this Ron Paul, I hope I hope his son down the road does because we all know the end results of, of what it is we're doing here is the one thing we know for a fact is is we're all gonna die and, and, and we don't get to do this forever. Do you know what I'm saying? And and part of being a man is making sure that your family and my kids back home as well are taken care of.
you know, so you do what you have to do and you expect a freaking country. I know I sound like a basket case, but well, it's been a tough, tough, tough day. And uh, I hope we find a way to, you know, bring America back to its greatness. It's bizarre to watch that country crumble, man. It really is. Anyways, anyways, uh, peace. And thank you for watching my craziness. Bye-bye.